Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Fuzzy Barbarian with part 39 of my 100% walkthrough of Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This one's the DLC mission Blood Count Chapter 3 Project Agatha, possibly one of my favourite missions in the game, just based on the visuals, it's really cool. In this we have to get one of everything except an upgrade kit, the heroic action is actually my favourite in the game so far, and as far as challenges go, we have to kill 100 enemies with electricity. That's the real challenge of this, of this chapter, everything else is pretty simple to do. Uh, for the challenge, I recommend equipping, equipping the trench gun. With that, put on the electric mod and also the electric bayonet. Try and get as many melee kills with electricity as we can to help with that. Use Boris. He's a good character for this because his melee attacks charge faster and they're stronger. To support Boris with that, uh, as far as perks go, you can put on the exterminator perk which decreases special melee attack charge time and you can put on the shotgun ammo pouch which gives us more ammo for our trench gun. Apart from that, anything else you want to take is up to you though I do recommend a good long distance rifle as there are some snipers a fair way away in certain parts of this map that you need to take out. Okay, uh, right from the start, nothing really in here to uh, grab. Uh, you can check this to see if there's any, uh, obviously check that to get some health, that's right. Uh, for some reason I was thinking about the next crates that you need to need to look at, we'll get to that in a minute. So what you want to do right from the start, generally getting all the electric kills you need shouldn't be a problem. You'll take out the snipers at the start, there's three of them. But generally getting the electric kills for the whole chapter shouldn't be a problem, however, it's kind of easy to just fall short of the 100 if you're not careful. There are barrels strategically placed around, but if you don't strategically use those barrels, uh, then yeah, you'll fall short. So, what you want to do at the start here, apart from these armoured guys, is try not to blow up any electric barrels just yet. Try and get as many melees as you can while the trench gun is electrified and while your melee is electrified. And don't, oh, see, if I'd shot him, I could shoot those barrels at the back, so just change my angle to make sure I shoot him from the head. Shoot him in the head without the barrels behind. Now, after this, what you want to do is run either to the left, up these stairs to the left, or up these stairs to the right. There are two uh, crates, and you want to open them. I open one and get two grenades. You may or may not use these. Don't try to run around to get the other crate that's on the opposite side that will just get you get you killed or get you hurt at the very very least those are just frag grenades we're not going to use anything that isn't electric in this until we've successfully done the challenge now to deal with these suiciders i reckon get this heavy weapon and just lure the suiciders away from barrels you don't want them blowing up on any on normal zombies and you don't want them blowing up on the electric barrels so just let the suiciders and there's a few suiciders in this in this particular stage that you kind of have to keep away from everything in the barrels as best you can and now what you want to do is lure as many as a, a pack of as many zombies as you can around the various barrels so it's a patience game takes a little bit of time but if we're going to guarantee ourselves the challenge this is the way to do it that's the first of the barrels lure this suicider away There's another barrel, I'll just wait till there's a few more zombies near that truck. Okay, so that's all the barrels on this side. There's a couple of barrels on the other side. Now the suicide, there is a suicide at this point that can make things a bit troublesome. If you lure enough zombies to this area, he can kind of get trapped behind them a bit. So it just depends on how lucky you are with the position of zombies at the time. If not, just try and blow him up. You're better off hurting yourself with this suicider than blowing him up unless there's a group of zombies already there like that. In which case you can kind of take him down. Or you can kill them with the electric barrel before he can. So that worked pretty good there. The aim before you get out of this area to be safe would be to have about 40 electric kills. You can get more than that. I think with 30 five or so electric kills you're probably going to be okay for the rest of the chapter but 40 plus and you're definitely going to be safe just don't rush the shots on the barrels until you know there's as many enemies that are ever going to be next to them as like that's a little bit rushed what i did there but it's all right i've got uh the shotgun and the melee charges it's a bit slower without the barrels but we're doing all right 
This is really the only area of the map too where you have to uh, take a lot of time on getting electric kills. I really love the rest of this mission. It's so visually cool. So we've got 38 already, almost at the 40 mark. That'll be 39. Anything over 40 here is good. Now this thing is a part of the heroic action and you'll see why later, but basically we have to bring an object back to that and plug it in for the heroic action. It's a very different heroic action than what we normally see and uh, I really, really like it. Now I've still got two grenades up my sleeve. I could use one, I could try to use one here. I don't really find the grenades do that great a job when there's only a couple. I mean, you're better off using them in packs. But if you can save them, if you're willing just to be patient and use your melee and your shotgun. Don't worry about trying to electrify this guy, just take him out. It's too dangerous otherwise. So many suiciders. Alright, that's done. We've still got two electric grenades, which is good. We can grab the other two that are on the opposite side of the two that we grabbed at the start. And there, those two, the ones we're about to grab, are right next to the first collectible as well. So you go up these steps on the left. And the first collectible is on the bookshelf there, but we'll grab it on the way back. So grab two more electrics. Now we've got four electric grenades. And there's the collectible. So... Baron wanted blood for great journey downward. What? All right, that's the comic. Now the next collectible is uh, the next two collectibles are the document and the zombie hand, but they're not till the end of the chapter. So for now, we just need to do the heroic action and proceed the and get the chapter progress going. We'll do the uh, heroic action first. I really love like the blood pouring off the doors. The, the whole feel of this mission is great. This would be one of my favorite missions so far. Really good mission. So you want to take out this armored giant. He's uh, a very tough armored giant, this guy, considering he has no armor. All right, we're still at 45. That didn't count. Oh, who are you? Who am I? I'm one of my beings here. A body. Oh, where's my body? Ha-ha! <laughs> talking brain! Can I keep it? I need a battery. I won't survive unless I'm plugged into a battery. Please help me. Now you mention it. I think I sell battery on back of truck. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Take me up there. Okay, I didn't want to talk over that because that's so cool. All right, this is the actual heroic action, and all you have to do is take the robot's head to that uh, to his body, which I showed you out the front before. I didn't want to say it was his body before because it kind of would have ruined it if you haven't seen it before. But it's such a simple task, but still my favorite heroic action, because I, I love the robot, it's cool. I can take it from here, thank you. As soon as I figure out how to move these arms. <laughs> Things like that make me love this game. It's such a fun game. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's just really fun. Look at the blood leaking from this. This is cool. All right, so uh, the document and the zombie hand are at the end, near the end of the of the chapter. So don't worry about all that right now. You can just investigate the mysterious facility, do everything you need to do here. 
There's a chance to get a few more electricity kills here, and there's uh, a few, a couple of barrels around the place. So we'll try to lure some of the zombies into those barrels. But pretty much all we're doing right now is the steps to complete this stage of the chapter. So there's a barrel around there, I can see it. I think I'll just wait for these guys to... It's gonna be a bit tired, I'll probably get hurt, but it's all right. Just wait till there's a few of them around it. That's good enough. So we have 51, which is heaps. We'll, uh, if you have over 50 electric kills, by the time you're at this section, you're almost guaranteed to get the 100. There are a lot of electric barrels at the end. So we'll have no problem at this point. You know, when I play Boris, I kind of regret not always playing Boris. I like playing Yun, but she, for her stamina, but She's just not as funny as Boris. Boris is super funny. I love listening to him talk. He's the funniest character in the game, and his melee is really good. So yeah, here I'm just kind of waiting for the thing to happen. Yep, okay. Now at the end of this countdown, a scream is going to come out of an elevator. If you can shoot, if you can headshot the screamer in the elevator a couple of times, they'll die there and then you can just progress the mission. On easy mode at least. A bit different on hard. So yeah, just line up a couple of headshots and on easy mode you'll go down pretty quick. There we go, beautiful. So you just need to go into the elevator and that's it. And then it takes us up to one of the coolest levels I think they've done yet. Really, really love this area. This giant drill. And the biomass getting pumped into it. It's so cool. It's very, very big drill. A drill for the great journey downwards, of course. I know what to do. Activate drill and find what God is seeking. Are you crazy? What if that's what they want? Activating that drill could be playing right into their hands. <laughs> God wants to use drills himself. We use it. We bid them to treasure and we take it. <laughs> And what if you can't control it? Project Agartha was never finished. Hmm. Well, then I die. Now, yeah, snipers appear all around here. You can shoot the uh, those machines to suck them in and kill them. And it's a good idea to do that because half the time the snipers will jump from platform to platform and if one of those is activated, it'll just insta-kill them the moment they land. 
Now you can see there's tons of barrels around here, electric barrels. We'll be using those for sure. Just try to lure. It's pretty hard, it's kind of a tight area so you can kind of shoot yourself with the barrels but you're better off taking a little bit of damage if you're if you have to in order to electrify enemies just so that you don't come this far and and waste the challenge got to watch out for snipers each section is basically on a timer for a little while and then you get uh, the horde survival mode So it's kind of tight. It's not too bad though. If you need to heal up, do it. There's a few barrels around too, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem if you had more than 50 at this point. You just have to really be willing to take a bit of damage to make sure that you get enough enemies around the barrels for it to count. We're very close to getting it done now. There we go. Challenge complete. So that's why it's a it's, it's good idea. There's still enemies that you can electrify from here on. And no doubt I will and we'll get a bunch more. You know, I've still got all the electric grenades. So you can see, so long as you take your time in the initial stages of this chapter, you can have a fairly... Uh, fairly good leeway on making mistakes and still get the challenge done but if you do stuff up in the initial chapter and you don't get many electric kills at the start of the chapter and don't get many electric kills in the beginning then you're under more pressure to get them here and then that's when things usually go wrong I think the first time I, I did this I got like 98 so yeah that's why I'm, I recommend taking your time at the start get as many at the start as you can but from here it's pretty much just We've got the uh, document and the zombie hand to go. The um, melee, the extra melee charge time perk that we're we're using, that also has a perk to show zombie hands. So that's why we can see the, the zombie hand over there. But here's the document. And we'll just shoot the zombie hand. Xenia. And now we need to take out some of these pesky snipers. You have to take them out fast too because they can wreck you very quickly because they've got rocket launchers, not not just normal rifles. But that said, Pretty much everything is done from here. We've got, all, we've already obtained all the collectibles. We've already done the challenge. Uh, the only thing to be aware of is you're going to have a bunch of uh, creepers coming out, and you're going to also have a flamer. So just be care careful of the flamer. He can kill you pretty quickly, especially if you're on anything above easy mode. So you'll be around a corner, and you'll run around the corner, and he'll smoke you. So. As soon as you see him, be prepared to just back off and take pot shots at his tank. You've got plenty of uh, plenty of um, room to keep backing off and backing off and backing off for ages. No point getting all this way and then then dying to the last major. But that's about it. I might stop talking there and just let you listen the way it's meant to be heard from this point forward. And, uh, and you can watch how this unfolds for the rest of the chapter in full, full sound. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.
to turn off the heat. Thank <laughs> you.